I'm sorry, it's B. We compute it based on observations of winds that we get at different heights. This is that trick where you plot the winds on a semi-log piece of graph paper and then draw, fit a line through the data and where it intersects the y-axis, that's your value of z-naught. Uh, you're going to get some experience with that on the homework set and of course let me know if you have any questions about that. In the meantime though, of course, just follow the link below this video to move on to our final question.